in the booking process. A Seattle car dealership is out hundreds of thousands of dollars after someone sprayed chemicals all over its vehicles. This was on New Year's Day right here. As Cairo 7's DD Sun found out, this isn't the first time something similar has happened. On New Year's Eve, someone in this white sedan sprays a liquid chemical at the cars at Wild West Car and Truck. Started at one end of our lot and sprayed all the way down our front line, hitting about 22, 23 vehicles. It erodes the paint to the metal and melts plastic. This one's probably the worst here. It eats through the paint, the plastic, headlights, trim, anything. In the surveillance video. The car come up right here. It's dispersing the chemical out the back window, so there is a passenger doing it. For this family business, it's hundreds of thousands in damage, and they're hoping by sharing this video, you can help identify this car and the suspects. Wild West says its insurance company did a chemical analysis of the liquid. We believe it to be aircraft stripper. If this chemical attack seems familiar to you, it might be because a nearly identical attack happened to a family in Shoreline on Thanksgiving. Greg Johnson says when he saw the dealership surveillance video... It looked exactly, exactly like what we just went through, twice. It's exact, and the disbursement was exact. Everything was exact. Another similarity between the case in Shoreline and at the dealership, both victims were targeted multiple times. Wild West shared this surveillance video from 2016 of another incident. And you kind of start to feel defeated, you know? Both sets of victims feel law enforcement needs to do more. I believe I'm getting an unsatisfactory response. No detective has visited this site or visited me in respect to the damage that's been done. I don't really think we're taking, being taken serious enough here. I would really like to see somebody go to jail for this. Seattle police are working with King County investigators to determine if the two cases are connected. In King County, D.D. Sun, Cairo 7 News. New surveillance video captures a pizza shop break-in as it happened early New Year's Day in Eatonville. A police officer recognized both teenage suspects who 